Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we have our official team of the season, car design and loading screen, announcing that TOTS is going to be next Friday. The 23rd of April is officially team of the season. And of course, per usual, we're starting off with the team of the season community, uh, with, which involves our vote. So we're going to talk about that. As we said yesterday, we did get that voting today. That was one thing we were 100% expecting. We also got the end of an era Aguero and a new uh, Bundesliga objective striker, Nider Lechner, um, SB or objective player that you can do in there as well. So we're going to talk about that. Of course, the content we could see today with Road to the Final upgrades, maybe new man of the matches, and what I think is going to be the start of a Pretty sizable weekend league sell-off, and you're already seeing some undercuts. You saw prices drop yesterday with this loading screen and with Team of the Season being confirmed, and I think you're going to see more prices dropping off today. But first things first, let's take a look at this vote because, of course, this is what a lot of you guys were doing yesterday at the content drop was doing your vote. Now, the first thing is uh, looking at the actual nominees that we have down here. I know it's kind of hard to see because they're all down here below on the bottom. I think this might be, and you know, no offense to these players or whatever, but I feel like our selection, especially of attackers, is one of the worst selections that we have ever had for this vote. I mean, look at last year's FIFA 20 Tots. We had Zaha in the attack. We had uh, Felipe Anderson. To be honest with you, there weren't that many attackers last year as well. Uh, Dembele, and of course, the Moses Simon card was decent. But there was a lot of midfielders and, and defenders, and that's how it is this year too. The attackers are not very good. In my opinion, there's some cool names in here. Harvey Barnes, Mikel Antonio, uh, Leon Bailey. Of course, Bellotti could get one. I think uh, Ilicic, Lang, Moise Keane's probably going to get one. I think this card's going to be one of the most popularly voted in ones for an attacker. But I just feel like, especially our attacking options, but our, our options in general are just not that good. So I am curious to see who does end up winning this vote. I think you're going to see a lot of the Premier League guys win. Now, in the fine print down below, it says that there has to be no more than four players from the same league. So I'm guessing that in the final squad, they're not going to allow more than four players in the same league. So, of course, you have a lot of Premier League cards. You've got Ndombele in here. You've got Skip, and you've got Hoiberg. Uh, and, of course, in the, the defenders, you've got Zuma. You've got uh, Digne. You've got uh, Justin. You've got Mings. Uh, I think even there's Fulham. The Areola goalkeeper from Fulham and, of course, the Schmeichel are both in the goalkeeper section. So I'm really curious to see, number one, who wins this vote and, number two, who gets into the team because there can be only four players from one league and there's a lot of Prem players. Now, if you actually want to vote, you can put more than four Prem players in your vote, um, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a very Prem heavy. I mean, Alaba probably gets in, in my opinion. I do think, I think Tagliafico might get in as well. I know that he is not maybe one of the most hyped up cards, but this Goldson card with the links to Cavani, I've seen that in a lot of people's voting votes as well. Now, of course, if you click on the terms and conditions, just like always, here it says that the final community team of the season will be determined by a combination of EA and community votes, and of course, they have never really given us the actual statistics on what those, uh, what the percentage votes were for a lot of this stuff before, uh, but this is the vote, right, and the vote is here, and you know, community team of the season is always kind of like, it's like, it's like a halfway step up in the hype compared to what the real team of the season squads that are released, so I guess you could say uh, that not seeing a lot of big names in that community team of the season bodes well, for the other team of the seasons. Oh, I didn't mention the one thing I wanted to say. Um, there's only 11? We're only choosing 11 players from this? EA Sports, if you're only dropping 11 team of the season cards and packs, that is a tremendous L. That would be a huge L if they're only dropping 11 team of the season cards from community in packs because, of course, last year we had a full side with the bench and reserves included. Uh, I don't know how many this is. Maybe is this a 22 or 23? I don't know how many it is, but... Um, we need to have a full squad with a bench at least for team of the season. If it's only the starting 11, that is a huge L. I don't care if you're dropping the second team or a second league alongside with this. We need more than 11 players in packs. I know that's been a thing they've been doing this year with promos, but that should not be a thing with team of the season because that's just not how team of the season should roll. Anyways, if that starts to become an issue, then I think some people are going to be unhappy about it. But that was one thing I was worried about because the voting only consists of 11 players. So hopefully, I guess EA is going to choose like the the honorable mention players that almost win in the vote will be on the bench or whatever. But um, 
yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But again, we also got a little bit of content yesterday with the Sergio Aguero SBC. Now, I want to make some points about this. This is a pretty special card because, of course, it is kind of remembering Aguero um, for not being at Manchester City anymore. An end of an era card. Four star, four star. It's got a lot of thumbs up on Footpin. It's got a lot of thumbs up, 5,600 upvotes, but also 1,700 downvotes. I think personally, this SBC is a little bit overpriced. Now, there are a couple factors out there that can make you say, hey, Nate, it can be done if you want to get it done. And that is true. But, you know, compared to some of Aguero's cards in the past, he had a team of the season last year that I actually used. This 96 Aguero from last year was absolutely ridiculous. And it is definitely better. 95 pace and 97 shot compared to this one right here. Now, of course, when this guy was first down in packs, he was 2 million coins. But, you know, he's, you can see he quickly dropped off under the million coin range. So anyways... I think this Aguero with the stats that it has, you know, is not terribly overpriced. If you want to try to craft this, you can. It's out for 26 days, and that's the big part, right? Uh, really cool SBC crest here as well. This is a pretty cool um, SBC for, you know, emotional reasons. I do think it's a little bit expensive, but if this is something you want to work for, you can obviously work towards it. We also had this League One challenge, and I think we're going to be seeing these about every single day or every other day this week as we head into team of the season because they're going to give us these challenge packs, and it's basically a League One premium players pack. And this is the upgrade SBCs, EA Sports, if you're listening to this video. This is the upgrade SBC that we want to have during the week. This is basically the 25k pack of League One only players. So of course, they're going to drop these throughout the week. They're probably going to drop Brem. They're going to drop Bundesliga, La Liga Santander, and uh, did I say Bundesliga? I think I did. Syria. They're going to drop all the five major leagues for these League One challenge packs uh, for the premium players packs from that league. So you'll be able to stash those until that uh, specific team of the season comes out. Or if you want to open during community tots, they also re-released... The 81 plus double upgrade until Friday, which is very interesting to me because this to me is just, uh, you know, promoting for people to continue to drain their coins pre-team of the season because, hey, they're saying here, hey, you can stack 81 plus double upgrades before team of the season if you want to. They're giving us that opportunity, but they're also doing this because they know people are going to try to craft prime icon upgrades and maybe craft this Aguero. So I guess it is kind of nice on one hand that they gave us the 81 plus doubles if you're trying to stack packs for tots, uh, but also it's kind of like, hmm, okay, EA Sports, sneaky move there trying to drain some coins pre-team of the season. Speaking of pre-team of the season coin drains, I feel like since we didn't get a big-time Icon SBC yesterday, I don't think we're out of the woods yet. We still have six days until team of the season is going to be dropping on next Friday. So I still think there could be a one-time non-repeatable moments SBC or if they add something new into the code. I don't know if there's a prime icon player pick that has been added to the code, but I feel like that is something that could be coming out. Not necessarily today, maybe today, but maybe, you know, Sunday or Monday. One of these next three days, I think we do get one more icon SBC potentially uh, because that would be just a perfect coin suck before this team of the season time period. So again, today on Saturday, let's talk about this and then we'll talk about the market. Of course, a lot of people are looking forward to this today. Road to the final upgrades in their new time slot. Oh, wait a second. These are upgraded, baby. Yo, EA Sports, why are you not consistent anymore, man? I just looked at Footbin. This Gabriel Jesus has got a plus one. What is going on? Yo, okay, so these have always been updated on Saturday. So what's going to come today on Saturday that they had to upgrade these at a different time? Multiple times this year. Wow, they've done this like different every single time. What in the world is EA doing? So I brought a Gabriel Jesus at 500,000 coins uh, earlier today because it was just very, very cheap. And he just got upgraded. How much is he? He's 539. Interesting. Um, Varan just got upgraded as well. So it looks like they just went out and did these boosts right now, which is interesting. Varan is a 91 rated card at the moment i don't know if people have seen if these boosts have gone out hazard got upgraded as well bro oh my goodness hazard is so cheap what is this 600k for this hazard card who is 93 rated with those kind of stats crazy so it looks like cancelo got upgraded as well all of these road to the finals have gotten their plus one boosts uh Aubameyang got his plus one bruno perez got his um Oh my goodness, Bruno Perez looks absolutely ridiculous. Let's take a look at this card really fast. So I was going to say that this stuff probably is going to be coming today. But again, EA Sports with the upgrades, the showdown upgrades last night, which I recorded beforehand, and they updated them early. Um, and then now today with these road to the final upgrades, 
Goodness me, look at that card. 88 Bruno Perez. Wow. Uh, Pogba got the 80 pace. Wow, they actually gave Pogba the plus two pace. That's a GG uh, because Pogba had 78 before and they actually gave him that, that plus two. So that's a GG from EA as well that he got that 80 pace. So this is interesting, right? Now, I don't know if there's a lot of hype for these cards to be completely honest with you. A lot of them have dropped off. This Pogba is down over 100,000 coins. Uh, Rashford is down pretty low as well. Um because they've really just been dropping off because I really don't think people are excited about these upgrades with team of the season coming. So that's why you're seeing these prices kind of go downwards. Now you might see a few of them uptick in price a little bit, um, just depending on if there is some hype this morning uh, or if there's people that invested in them, you're, you probably will see those prices dip down. Like I know Cancelo today was down at like 260, 270,000 coins. So, you know, I really don't feel like there's a lot of people that want to mess around with these cards right now. And they're probably just going to take the cash on them and most likely sell them unless they have a small spike in the morning. But if you have any of these invested in it and you're in the money uh, for whatever price you bought them at, I might take that cash because, again, with team of the season on the horizon, man, I was expecting those to be happening. That was really surprising to me right there right now. Anyways, we move. Um, I still think today there could be UCL man of the match cards added onto this game. And I'm actually curious about this Gabriel Jesus because I got him at... Um, 539 i thought that was quite a cracking deal uh there's okay he's 550 560 so we'll we'll monitor this gabriel jesus card of course he breaks into the 90 shooting and the 81 physical range so a decent upgrade on him so we'll see maybe i'll list this up right now at like 550 because, because honestly with this market boys right now and this is what i want to transition to talking about uh for a minute now is this market is potentially going down even more because what we saw yesterday with the loading screen was even more panic. And this is probably going to end up being a longer video now since we just realized all that stuff that's going on. I still have a lot to talk about, but take a look at this Ronaldo, man. Look at the Like this is the a A1 example. Um, when we were on stream yesterday, we were looking, this guy was 1.5 million coins on the PlayStation on Friday morning. He dropped off in the panic selling to uh, da, down to 1.2 and he's never really risen. He's down to 1.18. The 94 Ronaldo's back up a little bit. The 95 Ronaldo's down too. There's big time panic selling on these Ronaldo informs today. Neymar inform was another one. He went from he went from 1.3 mil, 1.35, all the way down to 1.1. He rebounded slightly back to 1.2 and is now back down in the 1.1 range. He was 1.3 high, 1.3 mids, went down to 1.18, rebounded back and is now coming downwards and is again big time weekly sell off i think we're expecting today because what you're happening is this 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 is where you see a lot of people sell off their cards before team of the season so we're going to be on the watch out on the lookout for prices today that get insanely insanely low not saying they're going to bounce back really fast because again if we have any more Icon SBCs that are released later on this week, that could push some of this stuff down too. But your Gold Mbappe, your Gold Neymar, your Gold Ronaldo, I mean, I would not be surprised if at some point this weekend, maybe even today, this Neymar card, if we get some sort of content, unless he gets a UCL Man of the Match, uh, could be down at like 250,000 coins. That's the type of panic levels I think you could see. Look at Alfonso Davies, man. 930,000 coins for that card. Let's take a look at th through some more specials. 919 for Sterling is down. Really, Adama's under 700K. Atal is 600K flat. He literally dropped 100,000 coins yesterday. Um, so I think the reason why you saw a lot of these drop-offs yesterday, uh, Mendy 712, all right, boys, get ready to be amazed. Get ready to be amazed at the prices that you see this weekend because stuff is just going to go lower than it's ever been before and you've seen it. Um, that's why I said earlier this last week that, hey, if you've got stuff in your team that you want to get out, get out earlier rather than later because it's just going to keep dropping lower and that is what has happened on predominantly most cards on the market. And I think today it's going to be a lot of that weekend league sell-off. Now, I will say, if there is some sort of panic today and you're seeing huge, huge, huge drop-offs, some stuff, and I'm going to start talking about this now. We're going to talk about it again probably tomorrow on the stream uh, and, of course, into the week. The lowest price for some of the really, really rare meta cards that are out of packs, maybe even some out of packs icons, you might see the lowest price for them in this next week happen on a Saturday or a Sunday sell-off period. I really do think that could be 
that's a 2-2. Okay, the 3-2. Uh, that could be some of the lowest prices that you see for some of these cards in the weekly sell-off. Um, and that's why today, like, I actually took an, a loss on the Ansu Fati that, that I was holding overnight and trying to sell. I sold that at 1.25, but he was all the way down at 1.1 mil in the panic selling. So some stuff has rebounded back a little bit. And if you're up on it, I would take the cash. Now, I flipped one icon today. Uh, I flipped myself a little 90 Ronaldo, bought this at 1.55, tried him out in a weekly league for a few games. It was a GG, sold him at 1.7. So that was a good flip right there. You can do some flips in this market because you will have hours of panic selling where cards just get too cheap and then they rebound. Ben Yedder was like uh, 700 something thousand coins earlier today. When the loading screen dropped, he went all the way down to 600K. It took about three to four hours after the uh, content drop. He went all the way down to 600, but that panic selling dried up and he rebounded back to 660, 670,000 coins. Varan was down at 1.4 flat. He went back to 1.5 before they just upgraded the road to the finals. 172 on this dog leash was a very, very cheap price. That's going to be a moneymaker for somebody because he's up at around the 187 range. But. I honestly think that you're going to continue to see it. a lot of people are playing uh, with untradeable teams right now in weekend league as I'm loading into games and seeing teams. It's a lot of untradeable type SBC cards that are popping up. And I think, you know, if there's people that do have tradable cards in their team, you're going to see more of that sell off happening today, especially on some of those gold cards like the Ronaldo, like the Mbappe and like the Neymar. So as you're looking around the market today, um, in this morning, I do think you will see a pretty sizable sell-off. Now, of course, if things get too crazy, all right, if you're seeing 30, 40% drops off of prices that are already low, then that might be a situation, right? That might be a situation where you could say, hey, this Conte, if you see like 700K for that card, you know it's a rare card out of packs and it's Conte, right? That's the best Conte card we'll probably have all year unless EA drops some sort of SBC for him. Uh, that could be a situation where it's just getting too cheap. So if you wanna try to trade, it's risky, right? If you wanna try to trade with these big swings in prices as there's panic selling and as it dries up, um, you can do that but it is pretty risky and i you know i didn't really trade a lot yesterday i flipped that one ronaldo made however much profit like i think i made 60k on that or whatever and just got out because i it, it was more worth it for me to stay liquid and have my coins than to try to fluctuation trade with some of these cards and these guys are just still dropping right now late night friday van dyke is one four excuse me 2.1 for bruno 1.06 for Lewandowski. four seven for Mbappe, these prices are just continuing to drop and continuing to fall. So, of course, some things will bottom out at some point. 870 for Bruno. Wow, man. This is ridiculous stuff, man. This is actually pretty crazy. Um, it's probably going to keep going down today, though, in my opinion, especially some of the mid-tier market that isn't down as much right now is really going to drop off more today, in my opinion. So, I would definitely keep a watch out uh, for some of that mid-tier market stuff that maybe is down a little bit. Uh, but it's not down uh, crazy bad. My controller's not working. Thank you very much, EA Sports. I appreciate that. All right, there we go. We're back in business. Um, but I do think the market is going to fall down even lower today. If I get a sale on my Gabriel Jesus, that would be sick. We would be full liquid at about five point something mil. I can't do the math. 5.1 mil, maybe? 5.2 almost? So that'd be awesome, man, if we were completely liquid. Now, SBC fodder, I want to talk about this for a second as well. Let's talk about the FADA market. Now, we didn't really have any tradable supply yesterday. So, of course, you see SBC fodder kind of trickling back up in price. Stuff is going up a little bit as people are doing the Icon Pack, as people are doing the Aguero SBC. I think Informs are on the rise as well. So, if you have fodder, in my eyes, you're still holding it because, again, what supply is really going to come in the next couple of days that's going to make you want to sell some of your higher rated cards? Maybe if you have 88s, you bought it like 45K. Yeah, you're making a little bit per card right now, but they released one more Icon SBC. People have already cleaned their clubs out of most fodder because they've done a prime Icon pack or maybe they're working on Aguero or you know they're bored and they're finishing another Icon Moments player SBC. I think you're going to continue to see this fodder rising up a little bit unless we get some sort of um, something crazy like a... I don't really think there would be anything, to be honest, this weekend that would uh, supply this fodder or make people panic sell their fodder investment. Honestly, the only thing that's going to make fodder drop is heading into team of the season if we get no content and some sort of tradable packs that people would, would for some reason open. Uh, that's the only reason I would see fodder dropping. So really, if you have fodder, I would continue holding on to it and probably sell it later on this weekend or into next week early before team of the season before we see, of course, the huge, huge pack spam for that Tots um, most consistent promo. So if you are trading on the market right now, 
make sure you're watching out for the open bids because again, just like we saw with this dog leash, whether it's special cards, whether it's icons or icon moments, you can still get really good bids. I got my Ronaldo for 155 on a bid, sold it at 17 first listing. So that was a GG, took the coins there, and uh, and I'm moving on, right? So that's the kind of stuff you can do. It is a little bit risky to trade in this market, but of course, if you're getting on low bids and open bids, then you're gonna be saving yourself a lot of that headache and stress because you know what your cutoff price is when you're bidding and what you can sell for on a quick flip. So that's what's going on in this game right now. I know that was a lot to talk about, but of course, the big thing is team of the season is confirmed and uh, there's some cool cards. If EA does the juice for these cards that are in the, the, the community vote, there could be some decent cards that are a part of Todd's community. So we'll be talking about that, of course, this week. If you want to take a look at some of those uh, predictions and potential cards we could be getting, I'm going to be posting some of those on my TikTok. Yes, I do TikTok now, but that link will be down below in the description if you're interested in that so that's the video for today boys team of the season is one day closer and it's finally confirmed in front of our faces by ea sports so that is also nice to see but if you enjoyed this video hit a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant i'll catch you guys later peace out